What's up guys, it's Sammy Cheese here, back with another video, and now in today's video, I will show you guys how to make an intro on Scratch. I'll put a preview on screen of what we will be making today. As you can see, all this is a little intro before you start your Scratch project. Anyway, let's get started. First thing that you need to do is to delete the Scratch Cat, make a new sprite, and this will be the background. So I'm going to convert to bitmap, use my color picker tool, and find a nice blue for my intro. I like this blue, so I'm just going to fill the background and rename the sprite background. Next thing you want to do is go to code and go to events. One green flag clicked, looks, show, go to change this to back layer. Then what you want to do is you want to go to set, change this to ghost effect to zero. Drag that onto the go to the back layer. Motion, go to X, change this to X, zero, Y, zero. Drag that onto there. Go to control, wait three seconds put this here then what you want to do is you want to go to events broadcast make a new message and call it hide all then what you want to do is you want to go to when i receive changes to hide all control repeat 10 go to looks change changes to ghost effect by 10 drag that into the repeat loop then outside the repeat loop you want to go to hide and make sure it's outside of the repeat loop just like this Next thing that we are going to code is your logo. For example, here's my Sammy Cheese logo. Since every single logo is different, you want to find a good X and Y position for your logo, but the text will go down here. So make sure the logo is far enough above the bottom, but not too far up. For example, I like this spot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to events, one game flag clicked, looks, show, go to front layer, set, changes to ghost effect to zero, and then what you want to do is you want to go to set size to 0%, put that on there. Then what you want to do is you want to go to motion, go to your X and Y position, and make sure the size is 100. Drag that onto there. And once you have your X and Y position block, what you want to do is you want to go to point in direction 90. Go to control, repeat, changes to 15. Drag this under the point in direction 90. Go to motion, go to turn changes to 24 degrees make sure it's right put that in the repeat loop then what you want to do is you want to go to looks change size by changes to 6.52 put this under the turn 24 degrees right block and then what you want to do is you want to go to events when i receive hide all control repeat 10 go to looks change changes to ghost effect by 10 Put this inside the repeat 10 loop block go to looks and then put a hide block under the repeat 10. so now if you test it as you can see if i hit the green flag my logo spins in and after three seconds it will disappear with the background now it's time to code the text and the final step to this intro is the text so once you have your text what you want to do is you want to find a good x and y position for your text for example i like this i think it looks pretty good and now once you have your text x and y position all fixed up what you want to do is you want to go to events one green flag clicked looks show go to set changes to ghost effect to zero go to front layer then what you want to do is you want to go to motion go to x changes to 470 y whatever your y value is for your text right now drag that on there grab a glide 0.5 seconds to your x and y position that's the final one drag this below this and finally go to events when i receive hide all control repeat 10 go to looks change changes to ghost effect by 10 make sure to put it into the repeat loop and finally grab the hide block and put it outside the repeat loop at the bottom as you can see if you hit the green flag your text comes in from the right and the logo spins up correctly as you can see, my text comes in from the right because it starts there. But one thing that stays the same the entire time is the text stays the same Y value throughout the entire time. So make sure your Y value is the same throughout the entire intro for your text. And now with it all combined, you've got a cool little intro before your game or animation. If you want to see some more videos, make sure to subscribe, like, and comment, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out.